now and new images also, Nick, of uh, the vehicle uh, which we're seeing now, the bid food uh, vehicle that just went through your shop there, uh, under which he uh, secreted himself from uh, the journey from Wandsworth Prison down to Wandsworth Roundabout. Uh, that would have been a journey that, w what, would have taken, I'm just guessing, looking at that area, five minutes maximum, I should imagine, five to ten minutes maximum, uh, he would have been under that lorry. Then he uh, got out at the Wandsworth Roundabout from under that lorry where he uh, managed to strap himself uh, for that five or ten minutes. And then uh, he made off towards Wandsworth Town Centre, according to the police officer you spoke to, and... Uh, and so that is the confirmed sighting. Um, and, I mean, do they believe that he is being helped? Did they say anything about that, that he would have an accomplice on the outside or that he might be meeting people? And is that part of the reward that it, you know, to lure anybody who may be helping him towards the police? Well, I asked the commander whether they thought or whether there's any evidence, actually, that this was pre-planned and he echoed what the chief said earlier today that they are not ruling anything out but the presence of a reward in cases like this and other searches for wanted criminals often is a way of saying there might be somebody close to him who is helping him for which a £20,000 reward just might tip the balance of allegiance and so I, I suspect that the reward is more for someone who might be a bit closer to Daniel Khalif than a member of the public. Clearly, members of the public are absolutely crucial to this. It's a pillar of the search, always is in manhunts, and they've obviously had a huge breakthrough with just one sighting. But a £20,000 reward at this stage of the search suggests to me that that is more of a subtle message to somebody who might be helping him than to a general message to the public to say, hey, give us a hand.